Who's chasing who now, buddy? F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. I love speedy critters, so I wanted to see what it would be like to play the fastest speedy critter in Path of Titans. So what do you do with the fastest animal? Throw it into a lake. I honestly have no idea why I did this. <coughs> Luckily, that guy's aim is worse than my aquatic struthy abilities. Look at that, I taught the little guy how to dive. Oh, he's fine. For whatever reason, the flappy birds have decided not to eat us. Maybe we're too cute to eat. Maybe we're in their respect with our swimming abilities. Or maybe they think we have something contagious, like brain works, and they don't want to take that risk. <laughs> Who knows? Either way, our odds for survival have just gone up. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It doesn't take a thing to get Speedy McFloof Floof back on track. Making friends and everything. Did anyone else notice this giant lizard? Because I didn't. Okay, though, buddy, you got a Struthy with you, and Struthy's unlucky. A few moments later. What just happened? It was that damn Meg, of course, and ate our baby Sky. Aw, poor little guy. There he is. The Meg did manage to land one part before jumping back in the pool. From there, the Amarga and the Meg just screamed to each other. Forever, neither one of them really getting anywhere. Shut up, Meg. Oh, look, that worked. I scared him. But of course, the ruckus attracted some unwanted attention. Oh, Mr. Amarga, look out. Luckily for us, these guys hate Megs. Or at least hate them more than they like the taste of Amarga. That works out for us. But better safe than sorry, we decide to sneak off while they're chasing the Meg. Hopefully they'll avenge our little buddy for us. And we hightail it all the way to the savannah. I also learned we're getting another Amarga. Nice. It's around this time that we pick up a curious onlooker. Hmm. I'm naturally suspicious of uh, most Triceratops. I'm not the only one that has a low threshold of trust with Eos. Well, you guys, I'll keep an eye on them. But it just sort of hangs back. Doesn't really do anything. Eventually he just becomes an unofficial herd member as he follows us around, but, you know, doesn't accept the group invite for whatever. There's only one downside to being a Struthi in a herd. The waiting. But eventually everyone catches up, even our unofficial member. Might as well be a lookout while I wait. So we make our way to the crater. I'm not gonna lie to you. This doesn't fill me with the warm and fuzzies. The greeting party seems a little stiff and bristly, and I've already zoned in on our one Amarga. You guys wouldn't hurt a fluffy little chicken, would you? Just take one down, just take it Oh yay, a random stego from the crater joins our party. I'm sure nothing about this could go wrong at all. I notice one of our Amargas is almost dead, and I'm already assuming the worst. <laughs> but luckily, he just fell off the cliff. You look pretty rough there, buddy. He should have stayed up there, though. Unfortunately, the Amarga's too low on food and water to heal properly. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a choice but to walk out in the middle of the crater looking like a tenderized slab of meat. I might tempt those chemtrails looking like that. But the Stegosaurus comes over and reassures him that the chemtrails won't hurt him. They like Amargas. And possibly their pet chicken. What are you calling a pet? It's just everything else that's not allowed. The tension in the air is pretty palpable. Sorry, buddy, I didn't see you there. Honey? Help. I'm not sure all the Kentros are cool with Struthies. I'm just gonna hang out with you, okay, buddy? Oh god, I'm surrounded and didn't even notice. Honey? What's that sound? Oh, it was our unofficial herd member. The Triceratops. That's our trike friend! No! The Stego leaves the group. And what sort of felt inevitable happens. Except for accidentally getting run over. I'm just a tiny fucking nugget! I can't do anything! Doing. What was he carrying? Sir, I think 
Rex let me know that baby Struthies are his favorite and I didn't have anything to worry about. Not from him. That doesn't worry, but thanks! Nice friendly Rex out in the wild. And then there's Megs. My guy, I'm just trying to pollinate me some bees so I can dream of sweet, sweet honey in the future. I'm delivering this flower and there's nothing you can do about it. Unstoppable. I can't believe I missed them. Now look at that, all that running around and I'm not even at half stand. Venom is a no issue for things like Struthies. I go back and finish my flower quest. And I hear footsteps and I think it's that Meg. Oh, that's not a Meg. That move was just dumb on my part. I'll have to admit that I've never really encountered an Alio out in the wild, so I didn't really know what to expect, but when you're a baby Struthy, their speed and bite is a little bit, bit more than I was anticipating. <laughs> Still, learning. Learning experience. This is me running for my life now. For reals. I think I'm good. Eee, oh, let's do it. Whatever, let's get the crap out of me. Not the entrance as I was expecting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I find, I find. <laughs> Look at this poor guy. <laughs> well, if you ever think you're having a bad day, I want you to remember this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And of course, an Allosaurus. And some adult to boot. We should celebrate. I feel like really overstepping my bounds is the first place to start for a proper celebration. I want to be a battle stroopy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot Pick Nose could do that. Stupid charge. He almost got me. He might get me. Nah, he ain't got the stam. <laughs> oh shit, he came out of nowhere. Yes? No? Maybe? No? I think I'm good. Relatively speaking. Just a flesh wound! Well, I guess it's time to go to this party. He's alive! <laughs> oh, but he ain't. <laughs> what is it? Ah, it's another Struthy. Ah, I'd love to run around with another Struthy. Look at that, double Struthy comes with the anti-mag vibes. Guess he had a change of heart. <laughs> wow, this place is just downright lousy with megs. <laughs> give me that, give me a hot shot. <laughs> over here still just doing his quest. Whatever. <laughs> what a trooper. <laughs> oh my god, I almost assaulted you. <laughs> Come running up at me like that. <laughs> Why not do a lot of damage, but man, teasing critters is fun. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Somebody wasn't careful. They've been chasing me around so long they've just given up. <laughs> letting me get my mushrooms a piece. <laughs> Mostly. I'm gonna draw the line of collecting late week though. That just seems like a bad idea. Max will straight up harass anything. <laughs> huh, it's another Struthy. Sure thing, why not? <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> Oh, are we harassing critters? I love harassing critters. <laughs> it's a baby aloe. <laughs> it would be a baby aloe. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Always. I really just need to hot key those. Oops, looks like he had a friend. <laughs> 
or maybe it's him. I don't know. <laughs> Death by Struthy has to be pretty embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, chat about the floofy tail. He's mostly chasing me, so he's getting a few good licks in. My little buddy there. Oops, spoke too soon. <laughs> ah, get out of my way! <laughs> Making myself dizzy here. <laughs> Shall I make it easier for you? How did I miss you? No, sidestep harder. <laughs> Ooh, he just got the floofy part. Can't be running out of stamina as a struthy. Mm -mm. How do I keep missing a whole dasp? I want you to look into my eye and know that I was the one that kicked your baby aloe in the face. Are you kidding me? Did this guy seriously get back up against two struthies? <laughs> Okay, all right, we'll call it. We'll call it now. <laughs> Fun with dasps. Messing with critters makes you thirsty. What unreasonable sight have I walked up on? <laughs> what is this? I mean, of course it's an Allosaurus. Of course it is, but... <laughs> what is it doing? He might be in his ansel. Taking a picture? There's something satisfying about kicking an aloe. <laughs> I can always understand. I wish for nothing more than to know how these photos turn out. <laughs> oh man, these guys had to come and ruin our fun. But we were kicking the Allosaurus. Oh no, those are just the same das from before. <laughs> I'm gonna get your other Allosaurus, buddy. good measure. <laughs> well, on to the next truthy thing. Mind yourself, my guy. I'm not above kicking baby aloes in the face. Yeah, you better run. Oh, that's a metric. We do not mess with metries. You can have the little one. I want to tell my guy not to mess with metros. I'm also too busy running to type. I don't think he understands what he just signed up for. Shouldn't take metros lightly. Well, hello there, friend. You want to dance? Okay. Floofy tail takes like no damage. Oh, are you tired, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough fun and games for now. <laughs> I feel like this guy's thinking about it. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Yep. Someday, these guys will learn. Is that it? You bored already? Okay. Look, I won't even kick you while you're down. I'll just run a couple of circles around you. Squat you. you. guy's just making the water gross. It's okay. Crater water tastes better. <laughs> Feels very fitting that I would hit adult and impact crater. Lucky Camto. Last time I saw one of these, my Serato ate it. Hmm, lucky. <laughs> Looks like a bullfight. <laughs> I hope he gets that bird, though. Yeah. And would you look at that? Yeah. Ah, yes. This brings me joy. <laughs> right, I forgot about him. <laughs> You see, Struthy had been living and existing inside the crater for so long, she'd honestly forgotten that it can actually be a dangerous place. She had walked or ran beside the meanest, the biggest, 
or the loudest. <laughs> but none of them have touched Ruthie, really, in any detrimental or permanently removed from the face of the planet kind of way. It was largely complacency. And honestly, a little bit of Struthi Ego. <laughs> that was eventually her <laughs> This was the first time she'd been faced with her own mortality. I'm sure she'd been surrounded by death, but it had never really affected her before. Not personally. The soup bowl of death and destruction had played so many pivotal moments in her life. How could she just turn away from all of it? How was she supposed to deal with her own insignificance amongst it all? Would she ever be able to return and enjoy the complication and conflict that she did before? Was she always just going to be an outsider looking in? Did it have any meaning for her? Cries of battle no longer filled her with the joy that it once did, and she, all she could do was wonder why had she stayed here for so long? It was time to leave it all behind for good. And what's this? Mr. Rex, you dropped it. Hmm, well, we're gonna pretend this belongs to the Stegosaurus that betrayed me and the Abarcus. <laughs> and we will call that that. <laughs> Nothing but brighter days ahead for this Struthy. Sure, she's always going to be the harasser of critters, the champion of running, but, you know, she's going to leave most of that conflict behind her, and I think she's in a better place for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Don't take anything I say seriously. Ever. <laughs> Bye.